Hey guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. So tonight I am making a pulled chicken dish. And if you can see just over the shoulder, you can see a little black handle. So I'm super excited that I have added to my pressure cooker family and got myself an eight quart CPE XL. Super, super excited about this. I almost wanted to use it tonight, but I'm actually gonna use the little one only because this recipe serves six and it's not a ton of liquid. So if I was to use this one, I would have to at least make the ingredients 50% more than what I already have going. So as much as I want to use this baby tonight, I'm gonna to hold off. I'm super excited that this came in. Um, I, I, I'm kind of speechless. I am super excited. I only had to pay 30 bucks for this. Um, I ended up getting a great deal on Amazon and I had some e-gift cards that I was able to use as well. So $30 for a beautiful XL pot. Can't wait. So back tonight. So I'm making a balsamic black pepper pulled chicken. So let's get going. All right. So we're going to do three quarters of a cup of stock. This is just homemade stock that I have. And we're going to do a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. As you can tell, I have a huge jug of this, and it's pretty empty. All right, I do have another bottle. I use a lot of it on salads and stuff. All right, quarter cup. want to see the previous bottle compared to my arm. It is huge. It's like the length of my arm. All right. So as I said before, it was a balsamic black pepper. So we're going to do one tablespoon of black pepper. Get the rest of that out. So I have a strawberry kiwi jam. This is just a regular jam. Um, my aunt made herself. So you want a quarter cup so I'm gonna do four tablespoons because that's what a quarter cup is. And I do heaping because that's just how we roll. You can definitely use like orange marmalade would be delicious in this along with just regular strawberry jam. You don't want the sugar free only because you need that sugar. Also going to do, see so I get a clean spoon. A tablespoon of Dijon. I have whole grain Dijon. Heaping. I love me some mustard. And just a teaspoon of salt. Voila. Let's put these guys away. So you just want to mix this until the jelly is nice and mixed in. And kind of dissolved. Well, not jelly jam. My apologies. Jelly is clear. And you want the jam because it gets those nice pieces of fruit in there too. And it's gonna get nice and sticky. So I'm not gonna make you watch me whisk this. This is gonna take about a minute because I just want to break down that jam. Great. So I'm just going to add in about a half a teaspoon of dried rosemary. If you have, and that's finely chopped, if you have just a sprig of fresh rosemary, by all means use that and then you can discard it. It just gives you the flavor. Sometimes rosemary can get a little woody, but I finely chopped that up. I have about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. So I'm just gonna mix, since my hands are already covered in chicken grease, and well, raw juice, I should say. I'm just going to toss those around to get nice and coated. And then I'm gonna try to make as even as a layer as possible. All right, let's give my hands a rinse. All 
Okay, so we're gonna pop the lid on and then bring you up front. For this, there's a couple different options. If you have an Instant Pot, you can definitely use your meat button or you can do manual high pressure. If you have a poultry button, you can definitely use that. I'm gonna use poultry tonight. High pressure for 20 minutes. So when this is done cooking, and I did put the seal valve to the sealed position. So once you're done cooking, you wanna get up, you wanna shut this off because you wanna do a natural pressure release with no extra added heat for an additional 20 minutes. My head went off, so I'm actually going to shut it off. I already set my kitchen timer for 20 minutes, so now it's time to do its thing naturally. All right, so the 20 minutes is up. I'm just gonna do a quick pressure release of the rest, which isn't very much. The bobber's already fallen. So I moved it over here when the timer went off, only because I need room to shred the meat. You grab some tongs. Oh, that smells so good. So the meat is already falling apart, which is fabulous. So I'm just going to put it on a plate. And I do a lift plate because I'm gonna put all that extra juice back in. All right. So just using two forks, like you would shred anything else, just shred it. The reason you wanna do a natural pressure release with poultry or pork, I would suggest, because it makes it not be tough. If you do a quick release with like pork or chicken, like a soft meat like this, it would definitely, I feel that it becomes and comes out tough. So that's why you want to do natural pressure release for stuff like this. You could definitely slow cook this, same all ingredients, just cook it on low for six to eight hours. All right, almost done. I am serving this with some rice and asparagus for tonight. I cheated and I did instant rice. Oh, I wish you guys had like smell of vision. All right. Just gonna keep the forks aside because I can just use them for dinner. So I'm gonna move the pot back over. See all that yummy juice. And we're just gonna put all this back in. And this is just so it could absorb even more of that yummy juice. Why dirty another dish when I can use it for dinner? All right, so I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes. I'm just gonna keep it just covered. I'm not gonna put it in the lock position or anything, just so all the juice can go inside that chicken thigh. I'm gonna pull out the asparagus, I'm gonna get the rice done, and we'll serve it up.